Welcome to this talk about career in health and the Bachelor of Health Sciences here at the University of Adelaide. Um, my talk will probably go for about 20 to 25 minutes and there should be time for questions at the end, I hope. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about what health science is and then tell you a little story about some of the work that's been done by health scientists to solve major health problems in society today. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the Bachelor of Health Sciences degree and describe in a little more detail some of the areas that you can study in this degree, as well as some of the ways students use the Bachelor of Health Sciences to develop their career in health. So, to start with, what's a health scientist? A health scientist uses scientific methods to investigate human health and wellbeing. A health scientist studies the basic biological building blocks of human structure and functions. So anatomy, genetics, molecular and cell biology, and physiology. A health scientist studies the causes, mechanisms, and consequences of disease and infection. So pathology, microbiology, and psychology. And the effect of chemicals and drugs on the mind and body. So pharmacology, and psychology. The function of the brain, neuroscience and psychology, and the individual, environmental, social and cultural influences on human behaviour. So psychology, public health, sociology. Health scientists can contextualise this knowledge to undertake further clinical training, to support and advise healthcare workers, and to manage the health of whole populations, to study the systems that underpin the health of communities, and the social structures which influence health and wellbeing. So by studying population health, public health, health policy, and health sociology. So you can see health sciences is a really diverse area but what unifies health scientists is the use of an evidence-based approach. Here's some evidence the dog ate my homework. <coughs> so an evidence-based approach uh, means that we systematically search for evidence uh, or create evidence, assess its quality in order to determine whether we can use it to answer important questions about health. And that is what all health scientists do. Health scientists help people to make informed choices, to analyse data to understand problems, and to recognise the contribution of many factors to health and wellbeing. Health scientists are skilled in communicating complex ideas in an understandable way, working across different disciplines, and functioning within ethical frameworks to serve their local, global, and professional communities. Health scientists work in a whole lot of different areas. So for example, in all of these areas, from humanitarian to research scientist, to an economic researcher, to an aid worker, to a geneticist, there's really a lot of career opportunities possible um, with the Bachelor of Health Sciences as a starting point. Now I'd like to tell you a short story about how health scientists are working in one area of health. This is just to provide you with some context for the type of work you might do if you decide to become a health scientist. Um, there are many problems health scientists are tackling and this is just one. So what I'd like to talk to you about is how health scientists are helping to tackle the obesity epidemic. And in order to be able to do that, I need to give a little bit of background about obesity and the obesity epidemic. Now, obesity starts in the womb. Women who are obese are more likely to develop gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes leads to an insulin-rich environment in the womb where the baby develops. So women with gestational diabetes are more likely to have big babies. And these babies are likely to have problems with appetite regulation, which can lead them to become obese children. And this has been discovered by people working on physiology and microbiology around obesity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But how does a 
pregnant woman end up obese? So there are two competing explanations for childhood obesity. The first is an individual biological explanation, uh, which suggests that obesity in childhood is associated with a whole range of health problems. So it, it touches on all of the things that you see here, uh, including psychology, exercise science, anatomy, reproductive biology, endocrinology, physiology, and neurobiology. So you can see how health scientists would be good at working on a problem like this. So, uh, hormonal signals change in obese children, and this can lead to early puberty, and gait changes associated with being obese in childhood may lead to reduced physical activity. The other way to explain it is through social and environmental impacts. So, family diet and eating patterns, family conflict, and frequent moving. All of these things are known to increase stress, and stress is, stress is thought to impact on hormone regulation, and thus it may be an alternative pathway to obesity. So you can see both things might be important. And people working in health promotion, public health, nutrition and psychology might tackle obesity from this angle. So we can see, to tackle obesity we need to change individuals <coughs> and the communities they live in. So, health scientists are working <coughs> as researchers, health promotion officers, health psychologists, exercise specialists, epidemiologists, health policy officers, dietitians, and sleep specialists to help tackle this really big problem in society. So I hope that you can see that there are many different possibilities and career options that are available to you just from tackling this one important health problem. And Bachelor of Health Science can open up many different doors to health, depending on what you are good at and what interests you. So hopefully by now you're thinking, fantastic, I'm going to do the Bachelor of Health Sciences. So let me tell you a little bit more about the degree. So the degree at the University of Adelaide is a three-year undergraduate degree. You can enter from school, through TAFE, through adult entry pathways or as a tertiary transfer from another institution. There are no prerequisites, but it is quite helpful to have done some biology in school. The age half of this year was 65.7, so it's quite an achievable entry mark. You can do it full time or part time, but we don't offer an external mode. So the degree structure is very flexible. Uh, there are three streams, the medical sciences, public health and psychology. You can specialise in one of these areas or you can follow more than one at the same time. Each year you need to do half your courses from health sciences, but the other half can be from some of the other faculties in the university, such as <coughs> economics, science, humanities and social sciences. In the third year you need to complete at least one major in a single disciplinary area. So the course structure, in year one, everybody does public health and human biology and you choose four other elective courses. In year two, everybody has to do two uh, medical science courses in drugs, chemicals and health, which is a pharmacology course, and biology of disease, which is a pathology course. Plus you need to do two other health science electives and then four other electives. And in the third year, you do your health science major, or sometimes two majors, and other electives. And the majors you can choose from are anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, psychology, public health, human nutrition, reproductive biology, pathology, and from the biomedical sciences, you can choose microbiology, biochemistry, and genetics, which you study through the Faculty of Sciences, but you can uh, call a major within the Bachelor of Health Science. And in year four, for students who qualify, there is an optional honours year so that you can complete a focused research project and specify coursework. So I'll talk in a little more detail in a minute about those different discipline areas where you can do your majors. There are double degrees that you can take, the Bachelor of Health Sciences with a Bachelor of Social Sciences, 
the Bachelor of Health Sciences with a Bachelor of Math Mathematics and Computer Sciences, or Bachelor of Health Sciences and Bachelor of Laws. And each of those allows you to specialise in two areas at the same time and come out with two degrees from the university after four or five years of study rather than one. It's also possible to do concurrent degrees. So we have students in the program that are doing a Bachelor of Health Sciences alongside a Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Health Sciences alongside a Bachelor of Engineering, or Bachelor of Health Sciences with a Bachelor of Economics or Commerce. And we can help you to negotiate um, the two different programs that you're trying to study at the same time. And if you're interested in languages, we also offer the Diploma of Languages, which means you can add a, a year on to your Bachelor of Health Sciences and graduate with a Diploma of Languages as well. <coughs> so now let's just talk about some of these areas where you might choose to do your majors and to help you have a bit more of an understanding of what you might study. So uh, we'll talk about public health first. Public health is concerned with protecting and improving health and safety of populations through research, policy making, education and through implementing strategies to promote healthy lifestyles to prevent disease and injury. And the sort of things you might be studying and some questions you might be looking at, how many back injuries occur in the workplace, what is the best treatment, are there strategies or workplace policies or legislation that could reduce the incidence of back injuries. What would you study? Well, as I said, everybody does public health in first year, but you might also study epidemiology and biostatistics, international health, rural <coughs> public health. And in the third year of the public health streams, you can do an internship where you're placed in a workplace for a, a semester and can gather some useful work-related uh, experience before you graduate. So if you were interested in anatomical sciences, that's the study of the macro and microscopic structure of the body and the relationship between structure and function, and the areas of neuroanatomy, developmental anatomy, forensic anatomy and gut anatomy. The types of questions you might be looking at there. Why are some people more prone to backache? How variable is the structure of the spinal cord and the vertebral column with its associated muscles, ligaments, discs, nerves and blood vessels? What changes occur with age? And you might study again in first year, everyone will do human biology, human anatomy with dissection, microscopic anatomy, some histology, neuroanatomy, reproductive biology, and human evolution, forensic anatomy. So all of these are courses that you can take in the Bachelor of Health Sciences. If you're interested in pathology, pathology is a scientific study of disease. What causes it? What are the symptoms? Who's at risk of certain diseases? How can diseases be prevented? What is the cure rate for some diseases? So pathology, you might be looking at some questions like, if a person died in a car accident, how is the actual cause of death determined? Was the death due to a heart attack prior to the crash? Was it the direct result of the impact? Or was it due to a brain trauma triggered by the accident? What causes traumatic brain injury can be prevented. And you'd be studying um, a full course in the second year of the program, Biology of Disease, but you could also choose to do general pathology, neurological diseases, or topics in forensic science in the third year. Pharmacology. Pharmacology studies the effects of drugs and other chemicals on the body, how drugs work, the key drugs that are currently in use, pain management, illicit drug use, Toxicology, toxicology of drug use. So the kinds of questions you might look at in pharmacology. How do drugs relieve a backache? What is pain? How is it controlled? What are the side effects of painkillers? Why are some drugs potentially addictive? Can addiction be cured? And within the program, um, you study, oops, you study a core course, drugs, chemicals and health, but you can also study pharmacology as a major in third year. We'll jump on to physiology. Physiology studies how immune systems work, the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, motor control, sports physiology, nutrition, and tissue and water balance. And the kinds of questions a physiologist might be looking at. How does the brain control movement? Why does skill improve with practice? How do we interpret visual information? What makes the heart beat? Which proteins make these functions possible? and you'll be 
study and if you do physiology in your Bachelor of Health Sciences, human physiology, systems physiology, neurobiology and exercise physiology are some of the courses on offer. Psychology, the study of behaviour, having many branches, examining the way we learn, how we make decisions, the biological basis for behaviour, and the social and cultural influences on our attitudes and relationships. So the kinds of questions the psychologist might be looking at. Who becomes addicted to cigarette smoking and why? How effective are quit smoking campaigns? What impact do anti-smoking advertisements have on different age groups? Why aren't quit smoking treatments always successful? And you can study, amongst other things, intelligence and cognition, personality, social psychology, including human relations, abnormal psychology, developmental psychology and ageing, language processes, and the mind, brain, learning and behaviour. You can also do uh, majors in some inter interdisciplinary areas, so areas that cross across disciplines but have a common theme. At the moment we have three interdisciplinary majors in the Bachelor of Health Science. So in nutrition, which um, combines human nutrition and food science. Neuroscience, which combines pathology, anatomy and physiology. And in reproductive health, which combines anatomy and human reproductive biology. So, you can see that there's a really diverse range of things you can study. The Bachelor of Health Sciences is a great stepping stone to further postgraduate study. Lots of students use it as a stepping stone to graduate medicine, postgraduate physiotherapy, OT, chiropractics, paramedics. You can also do at this university the Masters of Clinical Nursing, the Masters of Counselling and Psychotherapy, the Masters of Psychology after you've qualified through the Honours Year, and the Masters of Public Health is available for people who've done a bit of work experience before they do that. And you can also follow the uh, pathway through Honours to a PhD in a research career in Health Sciences. You can tailor the degree to your career aspirations. And if they change, you can change your focus without changing your degree. So, you like the sound of health sciences, but why should you choose the University of Adelaide? Well, the University of Adelaide is ranked in the top 100% of universities worldwide. It's a research intensive uni, so teaching and learning is underpinned by world-class research. You'll be learning from the people making breakthroughs, understanding or managing health and wellbeing. University of Adelaide graduates make a difference in their local and global communities. And University of Adelaide graduates are work ready, not no, are world ready, not just work ready. So the particular strengths of the Bachelor of Health Sciences. We have strong links with hospitals, laboratories, health departments, private health businesses. We foster a culture of lifelong learning. And it's a friendly, caring and supportive environment to study in. and have a chat with someone.